Hello everybody, happy Wednesday, and welcome to Noelle's Big Family Life. I am Noelle, if you are new around here, thank you so much for stopping by. We are a large family of 10 on an extremely tight budget. We live a debt-free lifestyle, and we had a bunch of unexpected medical things happen and expenses, so we had to tighten our belt even more to cover the cost of that. And how we tighten our belt is we tighten it at the grocery store. So that is why we are doing this six, six week series of cheap eats. And so if that is something that you would like to see more of, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And today I'm going to meal prep breakfast for you guys, cheap eats. Well, it's really for me because this is what my family is going to eat. Um, real life, this is what they eat. Disclaimer, we are a high carb family. So if keto is your thing, this is probably not for you. But if you love your carbs like we do, you will love all of these breakfasts, I'm sure. So let's just jump into it. Here is four breakfast recipes that we're going to have this week. So we're going to start off making carrot cake pancakes. For that, you want one cup of oat flour. If you don't have oat flour, you can simply make your own just by grinding up some oats. And you're going to add three-fourths cup of almond milk or milk a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, two tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of syrup, a fourth teaspoon of ginger, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a half teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, and a half cup of shredded carrots. And once you get all of that in your blender, you're just gonna go in and blend that up until it is nice and smooth. Now you can make individual pancakes or you can do like I did, and that's just put them all on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper spread it out and I baked it in the oven at 325 degrees for about 15 minutes. This is what they look like when they come out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool and then I'll just flip it right off of here and that'll come right off. And now we're going to make the cream cheese syrup that goes with that. For that you need four ounces of cream cheese a fourth a cup of syrup, one to two tablespoons of milk, and then blend that up. Then you can taste it and see if it is sweet enough for you, but if not, add just a little bit of powdered sugar, and that's what I did. Blend that up, and then it is ready. This seriously was so good. I really wish you guys could try this and I definitely hope you make it. Now let's move on to the muffins. These are sweet potato muffins. And for this you need a half a cup of cooked sweet potato mashed. Mine are a mix of Japanese sweet potatoes and orange sweet potatoes. That's why you see some white and some orange. Then to that, you're going to add three eggs and mix well. Then you're going to add one cup of peanut butter or almond butter. And 
a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of vanilla, a fourth a cup of maple syrup, a fourth teaspoon of ginger, and a fourth teaspoon of salt if you use almond butter. If you use peanut butter, then omit the salt. Stir that up really good together, and then you're gonna spray down your muffin tin and divide your batter into your muffin tin. And you're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 16 to 18 minutes. And here are the muffins right after they come out. And now to start off with the French toast casserole, you want to spray down your pan and then I'm using one whole loaf of bread, chopped up, just plain bread. And then you're gonna set that aside and in another bowl, you're going to add eight to nine eggs, one and a half cups of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, two thirds a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and then you're gonna stir that all up and get that very well mixed up. And then you want to pour that over top of your bread mixture. And now you're gonna cover this with some saran wrap or plastic wrap. And you wanna put this in the fridge for one hour at least. And I sprinkled the top with cinnamon before I did that. And then after your hour is up, or a little bit longer, then you want to go on and bake it at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, and here is the French toast bake out of the oven. Took about 25 minutes. And now I'm gonna let that cool and then sprinkle the top with some powdered sugar. And there it is after I add the powdered sugar. And our last recipe is pumpkin waffles. I love everything pumpkin. So for that, we're gonna take one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of vanilla, a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one large egg, three-fourths cup of milk, a third cup of pumpkin puree, make sure you're getting just pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling, and two tablespoons of oil. Just mix that all up and then you're going to put it into your waffle iron and that's it.
All right, here they are, all done. Now remember, it did only make three waffles, but not everybody in my house is a pumpkin lover. And this is breakfast for three days. All four recipes, that's to last us for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked these four breakfast recipes and hopefully you give them a try for your family and let me know down below what you think of them if you do try them. Or you can always tag me on Instagram at Noelle's Big Family Life. I will see all of you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.